Good morning, ladies and gents. My name is Hyozo, and welcome to Discuss Things and to Coffee Thoughts, my almost daily rambling about stuff I think in the morning. Now, uh, what I want to talk about today is a bit connected to the last thing I did with Coffee Thoughts, a bit connected with all the YouTube stuff that's been, that's been going on with uh, PewDiePie and everyone else in that channel about the dropping uh, of Maker Studios, those kind of things, and in general as to free speech and comedy. Now, if you have watched my channel before, you know that I like to talk about those stuff. I like to talk about those stuff mainly because those stuff are, Im those stuff are important. These things are something that you need to have in your life, you need to talk about, you don't need to be quiet or just let it pass. You need to be talkative, you need to be like heard, you need to raise your voice a little bit. And what I want to talk about today is basically the death of comedy or the death of free speech. You can you can say it however you like, but the death of comedy is kind of the death of free speech in my opinion because comedy is something that gets us through things. Uh, when we're sad, when we're angry, when we just want to uh, get it easy, you know, you, you just want to have a good time, you turn to comedy most of the time. And there's pretty good comedians out there, you know, about a lot of them who nowadays are very controversial. Like, you have these old comedians like George Carlin, uh, like uh, Bill Mark, who's also a very nice comedian, very open-minded comedian. Uh, you have a lot of other comedians that are very controversial, and by controversial I mean they out they're outspoken. Like they 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 speak about things that you wouldn't actually hear about being spoken to or from other people, like officials or politicians or anything, and. The words they use are bad words, you know what I mean. Like, when you have this, when you have this honesty, when you have this uh, honest approach, direct approach to the real life problems without cherry picking it, without, uh, without sugar coating it, you can call it whatever you like, without just uh, being all around, uh, going around the problem, but just attacking it directly. That's when you have an honest conversation, and that that's when you have a very nice solution to a problem because you're talking directly for it. And comedy is very often used to describe such problems, such issues, such uh, degradations of society, such uh, bad things that happen and go unpunished or something. But now, now it's it's kind of dead uh, or dying at least because more and more people say and shout out that you cannot speak about those things you cannot talk about those issues like that you cannot use those words you cannot have this approach you cannot have anything of the sorts talking about it and instead they, they don't want to talk about it or if they talk about it, they want to do it in the soft harmless way which is stupid I don't get why this is so popular like why the SJW is so popular why the basically the PC culture has become so popular over the years but removing such talk from society not only in comedy but even in, in public hearings in just just in everyday life this is something very wrong because you're not fixing the problem you're just numbing it down or something it's like a painkiller that you uh, that will come back that you just numb the pain or numb the issue in this case and it's gonna come back hitting you even harder and no one is actually doing anything about it and by the way the situation with PewDiePie because I mentioned him in the beginning of the video is that he kinda just green uh, put light to a website that pay, pays you five dollars to people who probably view five dollars as a lot more than me or you would do and they will do anything to get those five dollars now I don't say that 
uh, you shouldn't do that if those five dollars are that important to you but like not having anything uh, as of knowledge as to what you're doing or what you're writing and doing it and this website just exploits that and I'm, I'm pretty sure that they don't give all of the five dollars to those people who are doing that is pretty bad I, I think it's pretty exploitive and I think in this regard PewDiePie was right to basically put light to what's really been going on on this website what he did on the other uh, in the other videos is still a bit of comedy that's again being mis misinterpreted and I, I don't agree with the way things were dealt to him and probably none, no youtuber does or at least 90% of the youtubers that I've seen agree with him instead of the Wall Street Journal and all the other bullshit and when you have the, this kind of thing, when, when you have those jokes that should not be offensive, they're not offensive alright, they're not offensive jokes they might have been offensive in the 50s or in the 60s they're not offensive now because it's been over half a decade since Nazis and everything and you it's not it's just not trendy to uh, to worry about those things I mean you have okay let's let's just recap you have people who pretend to be Nazi on camera like PewDiePie just for the last just for a joke you have people who are grammar Nazis and you call them Nazis uh, again grammar Nazis you have uh, real Nazis neo Nazis who are called old right not Nazis not neo Nazis old right so basically the only people who should should be called Nazis you don't call them Nazis so this is just what I've been talking about you you just replace the naming of the issue with something else just to numb the pain down which is which is not good it's not good it is just giving them more power to act upon their title alt right doesn't sound it doesn't sound so threatening it doesn't sound like uh, someone bad it's just alternative right we're alternative alternative is not a bad word alternative is something other than the tradition which is not not entirely bad it, it could be a good thing if you call them new Nazi people are going to be a lot more scared of them and a lot more aware of their actions this is just one example of many that can be given when you're dealing with the reality of life and comedy is the one standing thing still that deals with things that are like that uh, deals directly with the issues calls them by their name calls calls every issue every problem directly and offers a solution in some cases or just teaches people to address it directly and not be scared and not be led by the media which is a very PC like PC political correctness if anyone mistakes it for fuck's sake call them out of yeah so being against comedy of that sort is like being against telling the truth and worrying enough the society in we we live in today is kind of against that and I see it every day I see it people who can who joke about uh, various topics that some people might find too far too hard too dark but it's not it's not everything can be joked about everything should be joked about uh, because that way you can view a lot of sides to a negative or a positive issue so you can have a complete understanding on the issue and if you can laugh about anything that means you can basically solve that thing if it's a problem if you have an issue in life if you have something that's very threatening to you if you have something that scares you joke about it and when you joke about it you make it less scary and easier to do it that's the reality of things and that's why comedy should exist that's why freedom of speech should exist that's why people should not be scared to call the things the way they are thank you <sighs> I kinda did that right right okay I did it right right yeah left now all that's left is to me to be left yes I'm left thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it 
and hope you enjoyed me talking about those stuff if you have any comments please post them down below if you have anything you want to add or if you don't agree with me again post a comment below post a like subscribe and whatever you like follow me on my social media i think i should mention that yes and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers